Hey, what's up? This is Seb the Low App with another screencast on how to create a one pager uh, together with a full page layout I already created in the Flatsum Studio. Maybe you already know this, maybe you don't, uh, but I'm working now for Flatsum and I'm gonna I'm creating actually design and layouts straightly for the Flatsum Studio. So everything I make is directly available in the UX builder inside the Flatsum Studio. So today I will show you how to create a one pager. And we're gonna use one of the templates already created, and that's this one, landing page one pager elemental. Let me give you a preview. It's a very elegant layout with a nice hero section. You can even have like a text introduction. There's a slider here. Then you have an introduction, some surfaces, a quote section. And this is the about section. It combines with some with an Instagram feed. There's a review section with some logos, and then uh, last but not least, the contact section. Um, so if you're not familiar with a one-pager, um, let me show you what I did for a client. So this is a one-pager as well. And if you click on one of the navigation items, you just simply scroll through the content. So this is very easy. And let me show you also, and this is actually the first time I created the presentation uh, slide. And uh, let me tell you a little bit about the pros and the cons about a single page or one pager versus a multi-page. So the pros, the positive side of a one pager is that you can have a quick realization. So if you need to launch something fast, uh, a one pager is a very good option. Um, you also have a little bit more design freedom because you can create this simple looking uh, header and footer. And uh, as a designer, that gives you a little bit more freedom. Um, Three is that you can really use it as a good use of a temporary landing page. So if you want something fast and just like a startup and you need something in the beginning and then at the end you have like a full page with a lot of content, you can just replace your uh, one pager. Uh, the negative side, so the cons, is that it's very SEO challenging. You only have one page and uh, you're very limited in, in content. So Google can actually index only one page. Um, so if you want to have a website that has a good result in SEO, so in Google results, don't go for a one pager. You also don't have a lot of hierarchy options, meaning uh, it's difficult for people that need to navigate large content because you don't have drop downs and all this kind of stuff. Um, so that's difficult. And last is that not everybody likes to scroll down. So it's a bad user experience. I must honestly say I don't like uh, one pagers, but some clients do, and sometimes I just need something fast, and it still looks pretty amazing. So let me close this down, and let me show you how to create this um, uh, with Flatsum, with the Flatsum Studio. I'm gonna close all these tabs, and this is actually my one pager test environment. It's just an, uh, an installation of Flatsum. I did nothing, and I only created one home page, and I made sure that the template is set to full width. Um, I need to make sure that uh, this page is also my home page. So not showing my latest post, but I'm gonna show my home. I'm gonna discourage my search engines because Google doesn't need to know this project. So now you can just see it's an, uh, a one, uh, just a home page with nothing in it. And now I'm gonna open up my UX builder, edit with UX builder. And then I'm gonna go clicking on add elements some Studio, and this is where the magic happens. I'm so, so excited that I can just create my own designs, my own layouts, and make it available for you guys. So now I scroll down to this landing page. I'm gonna click on Import, and I'm also, also gonna import the images. Sometimes this takes a little bit of time because the images are sometimes quite heavy, and if you have a slow internet, it gives us some time. We are at the moment we are working to compress the images as much as possible, but um, this is the reality for now. So, almost done. There we go, and uh, it's in here. Uh, as you can see, all the sections are also there. So the first thing we want to do is create anchor links. So the scroll down elements. So clicking on add elements here. Click searching on scroll, scroll to, and the first thing we do is introduction because I know that's the first part. So 
scrolling. This is the scroll element, as you can see, scroll to. And you can even choose, and that's a good thing to know, to get the bullet on or off. And that's this little thing on the right side. So you even have like an extra navigation on the right that people can use to scroll. So um, let me just uh, drag this on top of my section intro. So here it is. And you can also see it, this blue thing is on top of the first section intro. So scroll to introduction. And you can um, give it the title introduction, as you can see here. Uh, you don't. But you can also, the link, set it to anything you like. So if you want to have a different anchor link, then the title, you can change it. But for now, just keep it the same. So the next thing we want to do, we have our introduction. We want to create a scroll to for our services. Add element, scroll, services. Here we go. And then we make sure we scroll it on top of our section. The reason why I uh, put it on top of my section is because every section has some padding as well. So if I'm <clears throat> going to drag this inside my section, sometimes the scroll down goes a little bit too far. And you don't want that because you want to scroll exactly to the point where you can see your content. So I'm going to uh, drag it on top of my section. Here we go. And now I'm just going to duplicate it to make things easy. Uh, so this is, um, let's go to about because I don't think this uh, quote section needs to be a menu item. So this is going to be about. Here we go. And we just uh, scroll this on top of our about. Here we go. So scroll to services still on top of section services. Scroll to about is on top of section about. And then we need to go to references. So we duplicate the about scroll to. We call this references. <clears throat> and then we drag it on top of the section references. So the last thing, as you probably already realize, needs to be contact. I'm just going to drag that on top of my context. So this is the basic setup to make sure that we can create anchor links that are scrolling down to the specific section. So introduction, services, <coughs> references. So this is not good. It needs to be about. Why is that? Um, I don't know. But let's change this back to about. About, contact. About, okay, so I did a little bit of dragging and dropping and messed it up. So this needs to be references, here we go. So now it's done, I can close this down and now we need to make sure we create the navigation links because there's no navigation, as you can see, assign menu in theme options. So the first thing we want to do is create our menu. We go to appearance, menus, we call this main menu. And then we create custom links. So one of the things you maybe want to do is create a home link so people can scroll all the way to the top. And the way you can do this is just by putting like, um, I think it's a slash, and then we say home. And maybe we need to create an anchor link and even, but let's for now just keep it like that. So the next thing, what was it? Introduction. So the, the difference between, you know, real page links and uh, URL links is that um, with the anchor links, you actually put a, a hashtag. So this is going to be introduction. And this is the link text, introduction. Here we go. And then we had, um, what was it? About, I think. And then we had references. References. And now I forget one. That's services. Services. Here we go. I think that's one. This one here. And then the last is contact. So, and then we make sure here we set the display location to main menu. Boom. And now we open up the page. And then it should work, as you can see, nicely. Uh, this goes a little bit too far. Well, this is the text actually, but this image is a little bit more on the top. So if you want to play around with this, you just need to drag the scroll a little bit more up. But for now, just le let's keep it like this. References, contact. So it's working. If you want to style a little bit more the, 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 the header, it's all up to you. But uh, as a designer, I just, just want to you know tidy it up a little bit. So the top bar we don't need. We can, you know 
put the main menu on the right and then we drag every single element outside this UX or sorry header builder mobile tablets we don't want anything here only our nav icon on the right and we want to have our uh, mobile uh, logo on the left on the mobile so now we have a very clean header to work with um, so let's see the nice thing but also uh, maybe it's good to check that out if it's also good working on mobile so if I now open up this let's see if it's working yeah so even mobile is also working nicely um, I think that's about it oh yeah the only thing what I wanted to show you guys um, for example if you want to create a page so you have this one page but you want to create a different page for example for your serv services so let's say you click on read more for architecture so we're gonna create one page just to show you guys how it works and we call this architecture more info is, is coming soon so just very simple center title publish so this will be like your your other page uh, and the the thing what you want to do is now if you click on going back to introduction it's not doing anything as you can see what you want to do to cover this is when you're going to appearance menus <clears throat> you want to make sure that you put the slash in front of the hashtag meaning it will go first to the home page index so your root and then it will um, scroll i think that's how it works so let me show you if this is the case here we go so now refreshing architecture clicking on introduction and as you can see it goes through your roots or your home page and then it scroll down to introduction does it still work yes the other links still work properly so this is a good thing to if you want to create more pages behind this single page so behind this one pager you can click on, you know, architecture, read more and link it to that architecture page. So, guys, I really hope this was useful. Um, maybe you know, but I have a YouTube channel. I'm creating more and more videos. I'm really proud to be a member now of the Flatsum team. So I'm going to create more layouts, more demos, and I'm going to support it with small videos. Um, I also started with a little Instagram uh, page. Uh, where I want to, you know, update my latest videos, but also my latest elements. And uh, please follow me to, you know, be informed of the latest stuff. Um, <clears throat> thank you all. I uh, <laughs> I wish you all the best and uh, create cool stuff. And let me know what you think uh, and leave your comments or your project links. Okay, bye-bye.